morning everybody. I hope you're doing really well. Uh, it's lovely to be with you this morning. Um, as usual, just wait a moment or so uh, for people to log in. Um, I know it's, it's sometimes like it's a couple of minutes. I was very nearly late because I was reading the news and I realised the time. So I'm sure that the same will be happening for other people as well. So um, we're just going to give everybody a second or so to, uh, to log in and I'm going to get myself sorted so I can see uh, the comments that you share um, and also um, give us opportunity to share anything that we'd like to pray about together as well. Uh, so it's a real uh, pleasure and a, a privilege as ever to, to be with you this morning. Uh, it's a special community to be part of, so thank you for joining us. Um, we're going to be looking, um, it's, I mean, it's been called a Wacky Wednesday Prayer, so we've got something a bit different again this morning. Um, and uh, we're looking at teaspoons this morning, so if you've got a teaspoon with you, if you've just stirred your tea or coffee to wake yourself up, um, then uh, you can you can hold your teaspoon in your hand if you'd like to, um, and, and we'll we'll have a pray uh, using those. And it's something that maybe you can share with uh, children and grandchildren or any kids that you know, a way of helping them to pray. Uh, so this morning we've got um, we've got a couple of Bible readings actually getting us thinking about what we we pray about and the changes I suppose in the in the time um, the biblical times between. Psalms and then um, Luke's Gospel which we're going to be using today. So if you'd like to have a look uh, and follow along in your Bible we're reading um, Psalm 119 and it's verses 1 to 32 and then our uh, New Testament reading is from Luke's Gospel uh, chapter 11 verses 1 to 13. Um, so yeah so we're going to be looking at, at teaspoon prayers. Um, now I have to, to say that uh, this is a a way of praying that uh, we used to do at a group that we used to run in, in Kimber uh, called J Team and Alison Saunders introduced me to this so I give her full credit for uh, uh, something that's reminded me of that this week. Um, so teaspoons, it's the T, S and the P which are important as you can see down uh, my picture today. Um, obviously that's the little abbreviation that we so often see in, uh, in cooking books. How many of you have got it wrong though before and instead of putting a teaspoon of salt in something or put a tablespoon of salt or something like that we often well, I often get it mixed up I don't know about you um, but today we're looking at teaspoons so T S and P and we'll we'll think about that in a moment um, so we're going to start off so as I say the readings if you'd like to follow along are uh, Psalm 119 and Luke chapter 11 so let's let's join together in prayer. There is so there's so much that we we're going to be praying about uh, and have been praying about. So let's uh, let's join together and, and pray as a community. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in Him. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so our, our reading, as I say, is the first reading is Psalm 119. Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. They do no wrong but follow his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees. Then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands. I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws. I will obey your decrees. 
Do not utterly forsake me. How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes, as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider all your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. Be good to your servant while I live, that I may obey your word. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. You rebuke the arrogant, who are accursed, those who stray from your commands. Remove from me scorn and contempt. For I keep your statutes. Though rulers sit together and slander me, your servant will meditate on your decrees. Your statutes are my delight. They are my counsellors. I am laid low in the dust. Preserve my life according to your word. I gave an account of my ways and you answered me. Teach me your decrees. Cause me to understand the way of your precepts, that I may meditate on your wonderful deeds. My soul is weary with sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Keep me from deceitful ways. Be gracious to me and teach me your law. I've chosen the way of faithfulness. I've set my heart on your laws. I hold fast to the statutes, Lord. Do not let me be put to shame. I run in the path of your commands, for you have broadened my understanding. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. As we think about how we might learn to pray it was something that the uh, disciples were asking Jesus as well and he didn't use teaspoon but he did say this from Luke's gospel uh, chapter 11 verses 1 to 13 one day Jesus was praying in a certain place when he finished one of his disciples said to him Lord teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone who sins against us and lead us not into temptation. Then Jesus said to them, suppose you have a friend and you go to him at midnight and say, friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me and I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, don't bother me, the door is already locked and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship. Yet because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of your fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, 
though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive with my me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory, for I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. So let's pray together. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger, Order us in all our doings, and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay, so, as I say this morning, as we pray, we're going to be thinking about our teaspoons. And this is a way that we can share with with children and also it can be quite helpful for us so as jesus taught us there are several things that we need to pray about and i'm going to uh, maybe say them in a slightly different way but hopefully this will be really helpful for all of us so the teaspoon is important as i say tsp the t stands for thank you we're going to pray and give thanks and worship god for everything that we are grateful for in our lives. The S is to say sorry, because we need to recognise that we do make bad decisions, we do get things wrong. God forgives us for those things, but we still need to say sorry. And the P is please. We're going to be asking God to help us with all sorts of things, we're going to be asking God to, to help people in the situations that we know. So we're going to be saying thank you, sorry and please. So that's your teaspoon prayer. So as we do that this morning, uh, we're going to light a candle. That's often something which can be really helpful. So hopefully you'll be able to see this candle. And hopefully I won't set fire to the conservatory as I do this. So when we light our candle, it's really helpful to remind us that Jesus is is a light in dark times and so we can sit and meditate by looking at this cam candle as David was meditating on God's word we can do that now so we're going to say thank you to start off with so often when we're we're saying thank you we might buy gifts we might celebrate and so I've got, I've got myself a, a balloon uh, got a balloon that we're going to be using to represent all of the things that we are thankful for. So what I'd like you to do, um, and I'm going to start writing things that I'm thankful for, I would like you to start sharing um, some of the things that you are thankful for and do that in the comments. So it will take a moment or so for us to, for those to start coming through. So I am going to say that I'm very thankful for all of you. I'll try and do this so that you can see it as well. So I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for my family. Okay, we've got that on there. What else are we thankful for? I am thankful for the beautiful creation around me, for nature. But even when things are fairly rubbish, it makes me smile. 
So we're thankful for family, we're thankful for the countryside, lovely. We're thankful for Amanda's daughter. Do you share anything else that you are you are thankful for? I'm going to pop countryside on there as well. There is a long one to write backwards. I'll have a go. Did I manage it? Yes, there we go. Grandchildren. Rain for the gardens. Great one. Okay, so we rain for the gardens. Grandchildren. first letter back to front but I've been doing well up until then. Brilliant. Ambulance stuff. Yes, definitely. I might just put NHS, is that okay? Ambulance is quite a long word to write backwards. I'm going to put NHS. Friends, hot water, these are great. So hopefully we've got friends, hot water, NHS, and health with my backwards E. Great grandchildren. I, mean, I, I feel the glory that you're just picking really long words for me to write backwards now. But definitely great grandchildren. I'm going to include that within family. I think the look of concentration on my face is, is probably too amusing um, while I'm doing this. But we've got so many things for to be thankful for, to thank God about. So let's do that now. We are thankful to God for these things and many more. Lord God, we are thank you, thankful for the people that we are with this morning, for our community. We are thankful for family, the countryside and the nature around us. We're thankful for our, our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. And we are thankful for the rain that comes down to water our gardens and the crops for our health and those who help to keep us healthy for the NHS. We're thankful for, for hot water, for friends and for many different things. So Lord God, we are thankful. We hold all of these things in our hearts this morning. Thank you for the things we are blessed with. Amen. Right, I'm gonna, that's going over there. Right, now, sorry. Somebody wrote a song about this, I think. It's the hardest word to say often, isn't it? But there are things that we need to say sorry for. Um, and, and the reason that we need to say sorry for them is because often, until we say sorry for, for the things that we're, we've been doing wrong, until that, we don't quite feel right. And there's a reason, because... When Jesus came, it was to, to show us how to live. It was to show us um, what we were meant to be doing. Okay, It was so that we would become more Christ-like. That's always been the plan. And so when there are things that we shouldn't be doing, it's things that Jesus would not do, then the reason that they make us feel bad is because we're not meant to have them in there. And so let's have a think about the things that maybe you not... Personally, I'm not asking people to be too personal. You can do that within your own hearts, but please share things that we might, um, might be things that we don't want in our lives that maybe we hang on to. Uh, so one of those things might be, um, might be guilt. And another of those 
those things might be anger. And so I'm just going to write these things down on a piece of paper so you can see. So guilt. Anger. something that is always a hard one. Jealousy. I know this is a hard one, but if there are, is there anything there that you would like to add to the things that I'm writing down, please do share them. And basically, it's anything that we don't want to have in our lives. Selfishness, thank you. Thank you, Jean. Okay. So as we think about these and, and more will come in selfishness um, these are things which can be really difficult for us and and the reason that we have to to admit them and, and to, to pray about them and to say sorry is because we don't want them in our lives we don't want them to be things that continue and I don't know about you but with the with the children sometimes you can tell whether they're sorry or not when they're doing something that they're not meant to be doing they might say I'm sorry daddy but you can tell whether they really are sorry or not um, sometimes they say it and you can see it in their eyes and we know that they want to change and that's something which is really important this morning is thinking about how we change and, and when we pray it's not just a, a, a some form of process that we go through just to say that oh, we're, we're sorry but we feel better this is something which God is forgiving us for these so we're going to burn these and they're going to go so Thank you for those that we're, I'm going to write some more of these down as we do it. But this is, this is special paper, <laughs> don't try this at home with normal paper uh, if you're watching kids. But this is what happens when we offer these things to Jesus. They go, they disappear, and they're no longer in our lives. We ask God to remove each of these things, whether it be selfishness, anger, jealousy, greed, prejudice, take them away from us, Lord God. Help us to be more like you this morning. Help us to change. Lord God, there are things in us that we don't like, that we need to say sorry about. But we pray that you will help us to change today. We thank you that you forgive us. And we ask that we become more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, and the final thing in our teaspoon prayers is please. And so, as we normally do, let's share in the comments any names of people that we would like to, to pray for. We will be asking God, please help these people. But also situations, um, anything that we would like to ask God to, to help us to do or to help others to do. Let's do that now. So please share those in the comments. And, um, and these are things where I'm not going to give you a, an action because your action might be that you go out and you start to, to be part of this change and you're going to continue to pray for this. So I'm going to scroll back through and hopefully see the people that we've been praying for. So Lord God, please be with us today. Please be with Sue, Karen, Sam, Wendy and Jim. Lord God, 
Please be with Mark and Trish. Be with Liz and family. Mary Grant. All those recovering from COVID-19. For all those children being homeschooled and all those children who are returning to school. The parents who have been so carefully and, and, and helping them, guiding them through this time. And the teachers who are doing such an incredible job. We pray for Clive, for Carol, and for baby Savannah. Look, I would continue to, to ask, please, make our world more like you intended it to be. Remove prejudice. Remove anger. Remove injustice from our world. Be with all those who suffer from oppression. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, we commend ourselves and all whom we pray for to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And we pray our colleague's prayer for today, which is our prayer that gathers us all together. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us your servants grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith that we may evermore de be defended from all adversities through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. So rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us, in whatever form you feel most comfortable. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. So thank you, brief pause there, but thank you so much for joining uh, us all this morning. Uh, it's as always a really special part of my day and I hope it's started your day off well. And when you make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, remember your teaspoon prayers as well. So have a blessed day and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheerio.